For more now on who the suspect is and where the investigation stands right now, let's go to ABC's David Curley in Washington. And David Bowers is recovering in the hospital. What else do we know about him this morning? Robin, good morning to you. When hurricanes strike, flooded cars often end up in salvage yards like this one. But an estimated half a million of these damaged vehicles are still out there driving around. The owners might not even know it. Experts say you have to do your research to make sure you don't end up with one of these in your driveway. Good morning. Take a look at this incredible view. The lava flow coming from Fisher number eight. Off in the distance, you can see those lava fountains spewing lava up into the air about 100 feet. It's also igniting vegetation on the way. And here's a big problem. This flow moving yet over another road, cutting off access, making it more difficult for people to evacuate. And Whit Johnson with us live again tonight. And Whit, I know you were in that courtroom. We saw D'Angelo had to be wheeled in. He appeared to be barely keeping his eyes open. What did you observe and what have you learned about him tonight? David, that's right. D'Angelo was rolled into the courtroom, slumped over in his wheelchair and had delayed reactions to the judge's simple questions. After the hearing, his public defender confirming that he underwent a medical evaluation. She is also accusing the DA's office of attempting to try this case in the media. David with Johnson leading us off again tonight. Robin, good morning to you. Today marks exactly three weeks since her mysterious disappearance. Now we're seeing Molly Tibbetts magnetic personality and hearing her voice, her family and friends posting these private home videos eager to keep the search alive. It's that heavy, wet snow capable of bringing down trees and power lines. Take a look at those limbs drooping under the weight of it. And you can see here we already have some branches down up and down the East Coast. Tens of thousands of people already without power. The snow is still falling tonight and the wind is just picking up. David, great to have you with Johnson tonight. Now, this has been an ugly battle from the start, though. Allegations of racism hurled toward DeSantis, accusations of corruption directed at Gillum. It's been back and forth and back and forth. And in some ways, both candidates acknowledge that the, the ugliness has in some ways overshadowed the real issues that matter to people here in Florida. Paula, good morning. Some rescuers are calling it the Easter miracle. And this is where it all began. That old maintenance vent, Jesse and his friends playing around on top. In seconds, he was gone, plunging down to the sewer below, traveling more than half a mile through a toxic tunnel.